guys welcome back to test robot automation hope you guys are doing well so i'm uh, so those who guys don't know me i'm pranav i'm senior qq automation engineer and we are actually you know journey of setting up the playwright uh, bdd framework from scratch and uh, we defined this whole framework in last lecture if you guys uh, are new here please go and refer to my last lecture so you will know what is happening in this particular lecture okay uh, so in this particular uh, uh, framework we designed this particular feature file which is a login feature which is simple given and navigate to this uh, particular uh, url which is e-commerce playground lambda test.io and these are the valid credential and these are the invalid credential okay and what we did is if i uh, we designed this particular settings.json and we connected the cucumber uh, feature file as well as the stats so what is our feature what, what is our feature file says given i navigate to this particular e-commerce uh, login and i click on my account and uh, i add this particular uh, credential which is a valid credential and click on submit button then i should verify url contents is this so we are validating based on the url so when the user is logged in we are using this url and when the user is not logged in we are again using this url so if you can see root account is login and here is root account slash account that's how we are validating okay right so if i go to this particular uh, um i've just got this particular uh, uh, locators right these are all locators i'm just going to use this locators over here which i actually got it uh, from the page itself i hope you guys know how to get the locators right um, because this is a little bit of advanced uh, thing we i don't want to go into scratch everything as uh, await page dot where i want to go to go to is like uh, driver dot cat okay if you guys are familiar with the selenium it's driver dot cat it's page dot go to go to where you go to url okay and i click on so which is again it's saying given 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 i enter given when i click on submit button okay right but that's fine because that doesn't matter let's stick with the con concept so if i say update page dot okay we have to get the fixture first page page dot what is our first is get by role dot get by role and what is my role here my role is button and uh, this is button name is my account this is a really interview question how do you get all the locators so you can say uh, you can do get by role get by placeholder get by locator okay get uh, all these are different uh, scenarios okay so yes i'm not clicking it so that's why it is giving me an error so i can say dot click simple now what i have to enter the email address right so i can say await page dot oh sorry we have to first make a fixture page page dot get by placeholder right and in placeholder uh, what is the our attribute for the placeholder is get by placeholder attribute is email address right so i can use this email address so i can copy this for now placeholder is something which is a hidden tax inside the input box i hope you guys know what it is and you can say what i'm doing is i have to fill the place so how am i going to fill so what i'm what i'm adding here is the email address so can i say this is email address and i can put this email address over here oh sorry put this email address over here right simple and uh, and i enter the password so instead of this arguments we can say this is a password and i can 
also give it like this way say await page sorry i have to invoke the page first page page dot get by again placeholder and what is my placeholder is password so i have just grabbed the attribute right now from here So if you guys want to actually check this uh, particular thing, how I'm getting this uh, uh, this locators, you can review my playwright with JavaScript video, which is uh, the second number where I have thoroughly shown how to get this all these attributes and elements. So if I go to fill and fill with what fill uh, filling what I'm filling is password. Sorry, password, right? Simple. So this password is actually coming from where? It's coming from here. Test dodge 123. This password is coming from here. Okay. And uh, go to that chaps file. And I click on what submit button. So I can say await page. Sorry, guys. Again, we have to invoke the page here. So make sure you invoke first page fixture. I know this is the issue with because yeah, in upcoming lecture we are not going to invoke the page fixture. Instead of that, we will be invoking the class. We will see in a very advanced uh, other advanced topics. So what I'm saying is I want to click on submit button. So can I take this attribute from here? Say await page dot locator which is input value login okay then what then i should verify the argument okay so once we are actually clicking so we have to click the submit button right so i can say click the submit button and once we are clicking this clicking is done then i have to verify the url okay then what i have to do i have to once i have invoked the page i have to say await uh, expect expect what page to have url okay and i can say new regular expressions which is instead of args we can say logged url and we can add this logged URL over here, right? And similarly, I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to again invoke the page here, okay? And paste over here. And instead of logged URL, I, uh, I can say on log url something like that leave this english syntax uh, there could be something else i know it could be something other good word but i'm just simple uh, as uh, i'm just explaining how these things are working so um i hope you got the i've just got all this locator by myself if you want to see when how did i get the locator i'm gonna put the link in the description for my playwright with javascript where you will see how i'm getting the uh locators simple and i navigate to the uh, to this particular page and i get the role which is my account okay so if i uh, if you want to check so i'm going to this particular url okay and i'm going i'm click i'm clicking on the my account and i'm clicking on the login i think my account yeah so let me just see clicking on my account so when i'm clicking on my account i'm getting this email address and password so i'm entering this email address and i'm entering the password and i'm clicking the login simple okay so now if we can what we can do here is now we can just run our npx so if you know something uh, have 
shown on the last lecture the npx bdd gen is the library which is coming from the playwright bdd which we are we, we have added right so if i do npx bdd gen it gonna first generate the feature uh, gen file which is here feature gen file and features pack.js file okay this is a simple playwright style spec.js with two described block verify the user is login and verify the user is not able to log in okay and what else is i've just i just want to so this is done so simply if i do npx play write test and we just going to say hyphen hyphen is uh, headed and hyphen hyphen workers is equal to one right so why i have done here uh, because i want to run in a headed mode so i can showcase you how we how actually the things are working so before that let do a debug point let me delete this again and let me add a debug point here so in my stack.ts file after i navigate to the url i can add a debug point saying await page dot pause right so once i've done this await page dot pause we're gonna add a debug point to us and now if i do npx bdd gen first again right and features pack we get our features pack file now okay i can run my yes so after implementing this whole thing right what we have to do we have to do some configuration so we have to go to playwright config.ts and you know in the in the previous lecture we did this configuration saying we want our feature file and steps file over here so but here is our test directory where actually we are uh, checking all those test directory is coming from the from where from the test which is this test we don't want this test we want this test directory right so we just what we have to do we have to come here and just remove this that's it nothing more doing we have to just add the test directory over here and that's it so now if i go to the new terminal so once we are getting this features pack.js file what we can do is we have to we can do npx clear at test headed worker is equal to one simple so now simply we got a six test cases and it's gonna invoke one by one you can see it is going to lambda test.io and it is also opening a nice inspector for us and if i if i go inside there so it is actually going to click this right clicked okay once it is clicked it is going to page dot get by paste placeholder if i go and put here it's putting plan of test over automation.com right putting the password which is actually coming from our feature file and if i click on login and it logged in and what and it's gonna verify the user is logged in simple and rest of the test cases will be again same which is where user is not able to log in so it looks await a page or pause coming here now it is going again back to this my account right it is going to this uh, email address it is putting a wrong email address which is xyz gmail.com and it is again pushing the wrong password and it is clicking on login and it is verifying like user is not able to log in right and in the similar way it gonna validate all other test cases so i'm just going to do a play i'm not going to do any thing else right okay again we can invoke our uh, thing so what is this is doing is again it is checking the similar validation test great at error one two three automation.com okay and now it is going to another test cases so if we didn't put our debug point then it will go normally in a smooth way but we put a debug point that's why it is invoking one by one test cases and it is actually saying us okay uh, check the validation by yourself right okay simple i hope you understand in this particular lecture and let me know guys some comments and feedback on this one 
uh, I hope you like this lecture. Okay, simple, very simple what we did. Let's recall it. So we have our feature file. We define all our steps, right? And you know, all our steps, uh, we converted all the steps into the login feature spec.js file with the help of this playwright config.ts, which is test directory, which I already explained in my previous first lecture, like how we define this playwright test directory. And we just put that test directory over here. And there are two commands. So if we go to the official documentation of this playwright bdd and installation and uh, after installation write the first test case which is what they are saying is look test directory and you just have to do a test dir over here create a feature file implement the steps we did it and they are saying do npx bdd chain and npx playwright test right instead of that we we just did you can put this both command together you can smoothly run but to explain you i've just put both the command separately so npx bdd gen is actually generating your spec files and then after your spec files is generated it is just simply playing uh, doing the npx playwright test which we look it over here so we did npx playwright test headed worker is equal to one simple okay any question let me know in the comment section and i will get to you from there so guys, thank you for watching this video. Okay, see you in the next lecture. Bye.